Hey guys, I am here back at Tech Shop to take advantage of their 3D printers. 3D printing isn't just for the super geeks and people making components for cars. You can use it to make everyday objects like an iPhone case. And today I'll show you how to do just that. All right, we're going to use a free program called Autodesk 123D. And instead of making the phone template from scratch, I'm going to use one that's already pre-made and loaded in this program. So now all I have to do is customize it. And I'm thinking I'll make it really personal. So I'll add my name to this. Actually, I'll go ahead and add my handle, Sharon Vac. And let's change the text. Okay, so this looks good so far, but right now it doesn't have any depth. It's not elevated, it's not a cut. I, I think I'm gonna cut it out just like this CNET case. So I'm going to use the extrude tool. And since this is a 3D program, I can view it in 3D. So I'm going to change the angle here, and how cool is that? Now what I wanna do is cut this out, pull these letters out. Right click, okay, and now, check it out, I have Sharon back cut out of my case. That's it. I think that's pretty good, it's a custom case. I know I can't buy that off the shelf at Apple or Walmart or whatever, so we're gonna go ahead and print it. I have to do a few things, I have to save it as an STL file. Save it to my desktop here. All right, let's open up Replicator G. That's the program that talks to the actual 3D printer. So what you're seeing here is the platform. I wanna make sure that the phone gets printed in the center of the platform, so I'll do that. I also wanna scale it up just a little bit because the first time we printed this, it actually was too small for my iPhone. So we need to scale it up. But that's what's great about it. Uh, 3D printing is so cheap, at least here at Tech Shop, that you can really tinker with it. Now we are going to write the file, make sure all of our settings are okay, generate the G code, and this takes a couple of minutes. G-Code is an old-school programming language that tells the machine exactly what to do. Okay, the G-Code is ready, so now I can put the file on the SD card. That will allow us to put it in the 3D printer, so save it, and we're good to go. Let's put it in the printer. All right, now all we have to do is print it. So I'm going to select my file and hit print. Thinking. All right, we're going to print it in this bright green color. That's what's hooked up to the machine right now. It's actually made of a corn-based plastic. There are other materials, but that's what the MakerBot works with. It's heating up. This is going to take about an hour and a half to make, so we'll be back to check up on it. The spool of plastic is pulled through the back tubes and into the extruder. The extruder heats up the plastic and pushes it through a tiny hole. Your object is made one layer at a time. Okay, it looks like we're at 93%, so it's almost done. And it totally looks like an iPhone case. It's only been going for about an hour, but it will need 10 more minutes until I can peel the sucker off and put it on my phone. Now, if you want one of these MakerBot 3D printers at home, it's going to cost you about $2,000. So, with a Tech Shop membership at about $125 a month, it's all free. For them, the cost of this spool, which is the material that's used to print, is about 40 bucks. So, altogether, my iPhone case will cost about a dollar for them. That's pretty cheap. Okay, now, it's not just for making iPhone cases. There are a lot of ways people are using 3D printing. These are some of the more fun ways, like look at all these baby Darth Vader sculptures. This is really neat. This one took about 84 hours to print and it was printed on a, a more advanced machine. Okay, this is really neat. People use 3D printing for prototyping. So this college sophomore made a kite that converts wind into energy. And he used 3D printing to create these components here. Okay, I think that by now, my iPhone case might be ready, so let's check it out. Okay. All right, it is stuck a little bit to the platform, but that's normal, so we're just going to use one of these guys to 
just nudge it off. I am so nervous and excited. Oh yeah, there we go. <gasps> okay, let's put it on. And it fits perfectly. Check it out, my own custom 3D printed iPhone case. Now, if you're dying to get your hands on this and you don't have a 3D printer or access to one, you can use a printing service like Autodesk or Shapeways.com. All right, if you have any cool ideas for 3D printing, please send them to me at Sharon Back on Twitter or send us an email at alwayson at CNET.com.